back in the day, the Richmond Renegades proved that hockey can work in the heart of the South. Now a woman in New Kent is out to prove that hockey in the South can work for anyone, especially if they have heart. Having played hockey since she was 11, Randy Lynn miller goal is a huge fan of the sport. She was convinced that her special needs son would benefit from learning how to play, even with his challenges. I was uh, going through a lot uh, growing up and it, hockey was so healing and I introduced it to my son and he just took to it right away. And I seen like th there was just a magic in his eyes. The challenge for mom was that the nearest special needs team was in Arlington. She believed that the Richmond area had enough interest for a team of its own and talked about it so much that a friend finally challenged her to not make it a dream, make it a goal. I was told by some people, well, you know, hockey's not too popular around here. I said, no, it is. You just got to open the door. <laughs> Less than 24 hours after posting on Facebook to gauge interest in the team for the RVA, she was contacted by the American Special Hockey Association, who reassured her that getting started was easier than she might think. All you need is uh, a logo and a name, and everything's going to fall into place. And the Richmond Retrievers were born. Skating just an hour each Sunday morning at Skate Nation in Short Pump, the team has grown from just an idea to a collection of families and players who now have a team of their own. A lot of the times kids are left out and in special hockey, we don't want them to be left out. Players are paired one-on-one -on -one with volunteers and many use adaptive equipment to get around the ice. <laughs> Any apprehension about injury goes away quickly but not without a few falls first. I want them to fall. I want them to learn how to fall correctly. I want them to feel comfortable, you know, uh, just to give it a try. Hockey is not only a difficult sport to master, it's also difficult to support. There's not much um, that's more expensive than having a disability. Like, that, that comes with a phenomenal cost, and a lot of these parents at first were like, well, I really wanna get my kid into hockey, but how much is it gonna cost? Miller Goal has vowed to keep the first season free for everyone. And when the NHL found out about her efforts, they sent a huge care package to the retrievers filled with all the equipment they might ever need to make the team accessible to as many kids and families as possible. Give it a shot. The people here are incredibly helpful and supportive. Um, and it's kind of like, it's, it's chaotic, but it's fun. Joe Daly brings his sons, Brian and Eric, nearly every Sunday, now that they are actually excited to get out of bed on the weekends. He and other parents notice improvements in their children's social adaptability as well. Uh, give them a ton of opportunities uh, just to practice like frustration tolerance and also bonding experience and show them that when they're out there, it's a lot of fun. Like gearing up, yeah, it's hard. Ungearing is hard. Um, but when you're out there and playing, it's a ton of fun. It's helped them become better friends, better um, like awareness of other people around them. Um, it's helping with the social stuff. Now that he's part of a team, part of a community, he, he just wants to leave the house more. He wants to be here. He wants to see friends. We will not leave anybody out. And in special hockey, you don't have to be left out. You, the Retrievers are really one of, if not the best hockey team in special hockey. Find out more about the Retrievers. They have a website, richmondretrievers.com. We have more info on our website. And if you'd like to nominate someone to be profiled, email us at beyondtheroster at wtvr.com.